Andrew is there in Syracuse, New York. Andrew, how can we help? Oh, hi, Ken. Hi, George. Uh, I was just in the studio yesterday, and I appreciate you taking my phone call. Fantastic. How can we help? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm 25 years old. I'm currently on baby step number three, and um, I'm looking for a career change. I'm burnt out at my job. I've been applying for jobs and interviewing and also considering a relocation. Um, I currently rent right now. I live alone, and I pay month to month. And I was thinking about moving back home with my parents um, just to save some money, maybe um, to, to save up my emergency fund and hopefully save enough money to make a down payment on a mortgage. So um, what would this time period reading, uh, be? How long would that be to, to accomplish what you just laid out? So – I could theoretically move in with my parents. I could probably pay for next month's rent and then move out in November. And then hopefully I would find a new job within six months to a year. Are you going to keep your current job? Um, yeah, for the time being, I will. Yeah. Why wait a year to find a new job? Well, I, I'm currently looking for a job right now. Hopefully it wouldn't be a year. Okay. You, I think you're answering my question on how long you would live with mom and dad. Somewhere between six months to a year. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with it if it helps you save money um, and it's for a short season. I, I'm not a fan of you moving back in long term, obviously, and I don't think that's what you're saying. But I've got no problem with that. What's your rent today? My rent is about $1,200. And what's your take-home pay? Um, I make forty four grand. Okay, and so we, we would would you be paying something to mom and dad? What's that going to look like? Um, well, I'm an only child. I mean, they wouldn't ask for any money. Um, <laughs> that but, was uh, the answer. I think that's right. I'm the only yeah. child. Like they're going to be so, thrilled to have you back. Yeah. Well, have you talked to them about this, or is this is this going to be a surprise to them? Um, it might be a little bit of a surprise, but um. I'm sure they wouldn't mind me moving back in with them for a okay. for a short period of time. Yeah, I think as long as it's a short period of time. You you are paying a lot of rent right now comparatively yeah. to your take home pay. So That's correct. if you are gonna stay where you're at, you need to get a roommate in order to speed up your financial goals. Yes. Yeah. That's right. All right. So is that the big question there? Or do we have a or was there another one about the work? It sounds like you don't um, really know what you want to do. Well, I, I do and I don't. You know, I work um, in healthcare. I'm a recreation therapist. I currently work in a memory care facility, and um, I kind of know it's not for me. But I, I would like to stay in my field. I'm also a writer. I wrote a book, okay. and I so feel what, like it's a very important book. So what's the ladder look like for staying in therapy? Um, well, currently I'm applying for government jobs and hopefully get into a VA. Okay. And um, I would make a little bit more money, but not a whole lot more money. So um, why, why government like and why VA? Um, just because it's uh, a better job than, than where I'm at right now. Yeah, but I would think that the, that you could do much better in therapy. Uh, if I'm understanding the type of therapy that you're doing, it would seem that there's a much better opportunity uh, in the private sector. Am I right? Um, there could be. It's different things. It's. My job is recreation therapy, so I do sort of leisure-based therapies for people with disabilities to help right. improve the quality of their lives. Well, here's what I'm going to challenge you to do. I'm going to challenge you because you said I want to stay in my field, and I would say, yes, that's a good idea to look at therapy in general. But I would go, okay, you got recreational therapy, and what are the limits there? What, In other words, what are the lids – in that occupation. And then let's look at other types of things where there might be some additional qualification that you need to get, but would allow you to climb higher and make more money. I really want to challenge you and push you on this. Uh, not just assume, well, I'm going to go work for the government, you know? And again, I'm, I'm, uh, it, it's very hard, George, to advance in government work. It, it just is. I mean, in the, with, with the private sector, there's is much greater opportunity. The ceiling is a lot higher over there. And making it 44 is. in healthcare in New York, I think you can do a lot better. A lot better. So we're pushing you a little bit, uh, Andrew. Because I, I want, want to you get to be... you in that house. And it's going to take a lot longer making 44 than yes. 84. I want the bigger shovel is how we use that term. It, that means more income, and it's fast-forwarding everything. So there you go.